you know, with their understanding of the role of the president, you know, how far they believe they're entitled to go in uh, uh, making war decisions or whatever. You know, uh, the people need to speak up. You know, we can't count on the media. The media doesn't understand any of this. Uh, so uh, you, you can get it back. You can take the country back if, if, if you step out and you do it. You coming to part, Jim? Yes, I am, but I've got a major. Yes, young man. Hello. Um, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for coming. Um, I'm actually uh, interested in the uh, Oklahoma City bombing. I've got a uh, piece of paper here that says that uh, a classified Pentagon study confirms that the Oklahoma City bombing was caused by more than one bomb. Uh, the classified report um, uh, had two independent Pentagon experts concluded that the destruction of the federal building in Oklahoma City in April 1995 was caused by five separate bombs. How could that be possible? Uh, I feel as though you're the perfect person to ask, uh, being from Oklahoma. Well, I mean, I, I've never heard that, and I, and I don't know it. I don't know uh, enough about the explosives that were there. Uh, I have actually listened to uh, tape recordings of the actual explosions, uh, and I've been at the site on more than one occasion. Uh, I've never heard that. I mean, they would have all had to go off, you know, very, you know, simultaneously, um, you know, which I suppose is possible, but I've never heard anything like that. Uh, oh, they cut my mic. Um, there were actually numerous uh, news reports where they were reporting secondary uh, secondary bombs that hadn't been exploded, um, yeah, I do. and and the uh, the, the uh, evidence has since been buried. Um, do the uh, do the people in Oklahoma feel satisfied with the uh, results of uh, whatever investigation there was? Well, so, some people in Oklahoma feel the investigation was. Uh, Inadequate. Some people feel it was it was perfectly adequate, and, and that you know the, they got the people who did it. Um, um, you know, I mean, you're you're way beyond any expertise I have in that regard, sir. Douglas Bond, <clears throat> I'm um, concerned about the Republican Party in that it seems to be so distant from the party that most of our parents and grandparents knew. One explosion caused, because here's now what we are starting to learn about uh, the succession, or what someone obviously hoped would be a succession of explosions. The first bomb that was in the federal building did go off. It did the damage that you see right there. The second explosive was found and diffused. The third explosive that was found, and they are working on right now as we speak, I understand, both the second and third explosives, if you can imagine this, were larger than the first. So try to imagine two or threefold happening uh, what we've already seen there. It is just uh, incredible to think that there was that much heavy artillery that was somehow moved into the downtown Oklahoma City Federal Building. Two other explosive devices were found that were not detonated, and they were larger than the first. I think he said another bomb. We uh, just saw, if you were watching there, there was a white pickup truck backing a trailer into the scene here. They're trying to move people out of the way so they can get it in. It appears to be the Oklahoma County Bomb Squad. Uh, it's their bomb disposal unit, essentially, is what it is. And it is what they would use to, if, if the report that we gave you just a few moments ago turns out to be correct, that they have found a second explosive device of some kind inside this building, they'll back that trailer down there, and the uh, bomb squad folks will go in. And they will use that, uh, that trailer. You see the, the bucket on the back there, sort of, this is how they would transport the explosive device away from this populated area to try to do something with it. The Justice Department is reporting that a second explosive device has been found in the AP Murrah uh, building in downtown Oklahoma City. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike, you're still with us, aren't you? Yes, I am. And I might tell you, in addition to that, that in fact, what we were told at the scene a few minutes ago was that, in fact, two different explosive devices were found in addition to the one that went off. So a total of three. A total saying. of three. Now confirmed uh, through federal authorities that a second bomb has been found inside that federal building in Oklahoma City. It was an explosion at 9 o'clock this morning that did that damage you're looking at right there, blowing off the entire north face of that building. Again, you're looking at the north face there, a second bomb 
was found on the east side of that building. A bomb squad is on the scene. That second bomb has not exploded. We don't know quite the status yet if they've managed to defuse it, but it has been confirmed that a second bomb was found on the east Reports side. I have is that one device was, uh, was uh, deactivated. Apparently there's another device, and obviously whatever did the damage to the Murrah building was a tremendous, uh, very sophisticated explosive device. So President Clinton just called Frank uh, Keating, Governor Frank Keating, and he says that three FBI anti-terrorist teams are en route to Oklahoma City. Right now they are saying that this is the work of a sophisticated group. This is a very uh, sophisticated uh, device and um, it has to have been done by an explosives expert, um, obviously with this type of explosion. Then 